Now, the rest of the story. Townspeople of Bath County, Avon, England, had seen him sleeping in the park often. It was not against the law, strictly speaking, and the anonymous vagrant was little bother to passers-by. His interactions with them were few and friendly, the latter especially in the case of a well-behaved child or a dog on a stroll. So might anybody have guessed that in addition to aimless, nameless, harmless, homeless, this vagabond was also a police informant, no run-of-the-mill stool pigeon, He insisted on subtlety, on lurking about, and confiding from the shadows. It's easier, of course, merely to telephone the district station and tell the police what you know, and yet not nearly as mysterious or as much fun. So, when the burglary went down in the neighborhood of Twerton in the spring of 2002, this vagrant, who had almost certainly witnessed the crime, at first kept his distance, let the law come to him. Officers from Avon and Somerset were summoned to the robbed residence by suspicious neighbors, Patrolman apprehended a suspect, a 29-year-old male. But by the time police arrived, the stolen goods was all gone, vanished. The probable perpetrator was taken into custody for questioning, but with no more than circumstantial evidence against him, he'd most likely have to be released. So detectives returned to the scene of the crime in search of the harder evidence. What they discovered instead was their informant, standing nonchalantly in front of the open garage door of the home which earlier that day had been burgled, No words were exchanged. The silent squealer simply turned and walked away off into a wooded area, but then turned around as if to say, come on, and the cops came on. The vagrant, police officers in tow, kept stopping and looking back and proceeding. He was nearly 100 yards from the crime scene and still walking when one of the investigators suggested following him was ridiculous. But it was not so preposterous after all. For eventually, their stoolie had led them to a particular tree behind which, and artfully concealed, were many boxes of items that had been stolen from the Twerton residence. The informant just stood there smugly as the officers examined the stuff incredulously. Indeed, the recovered loot was subsequently and directly linked to the suspect in custody, and the case was closed because a local character came forward at just the right moment. Now... Should you be passing that way, even today, you may visit him still. You may find him roaming the park or begging for a bite of food or sleeping on the branch of a tree. Sleeping on the branch of a tree? (laughs) That's right. Sleeping on the branch of a tree. For you see, the vagabond of Bath County Avon, without ever speaking a word to authorities, nonetheless and apparently purposely, assisted them in solving a crime, despite the distinct disadvantage of being a homeless, helpless little gray squirrel. Not a particularly intelligent animal, most would say. But hey, you know the rest of the story.